Welcome to StarMate Compact Tutorials. This is your host, Jimrism. Today we will create the most basic forms of carrier, so you can have fighters, mining bots and etc. connecting to your main ships and launching and docking to them via the fleet commands. To first show you how this works, I've just thrown together a little light protection droid. That will protect my miner for my mining missions. To launch the droid I will press this button. To recall this I will press the fleet button, which is the K button by default. We will click order and we will click carrier recall. This will make our bot trying to dock to the pickup point. However, it's slightly bulky as for now and your droids or fighters will basically charge to your point and hope that it hits. That's why it's important later on to have your pickup point very exposed. Now if we launch this again, it will try to dock immediately. To stop it from docking we need to press the K button or fleet and go and select another command so we stop the carrier recall command. The carrier recall command will try to dock every entity in your fleet that have been docked to the pickup point before. You can have several pickup points and several droids and of course launch them separately if wished. After clearing out some space, spawn a basic rail. Then spawn a basic rail somewhere else in the same direction and another basic rail in another direction. That will make it stop. After that we will go to the pickup rails. The pickup rail will be ordered in the same as the rail. We spawn pickup rails a good bit outside of the rail so we can have the pickup point far away because the AI is not so sophisticated and will basically charge as you saw earlier. Spawn your pickup point. What's left now is you need shootout rails spawn two shootout rails or more. If you spawn one shootout rail, the speed will be limited. More like a drop-off rather than shoot out. When you've done that, spawn buttons touching the rails. Then a flip-flop and a not signal. Connect them up to each other. Spawn an additional button that will be used for activating the whole structure. Be careful to not link it up, but link the button directly into the flip-flop. Click the button twice. Connect the not signal to one button and, it, and the flip-flop to the other. Now you will be able to have a flipping system like this. Connect up the, both of the buttons to the rail you want to control, or rails, if many, shift, V. Now we can change the direction of this rail easily, with a click of a button. To automize this, make sure the rail is pointing to the side and then spawn two delay gates. Select the button, hook up one delay. Select that delay, hook up the next delay. Select the next delay and hook that up back to the flip-flop. This will make it shoot out and then activate it into regular position again. If you want to launch your droids or fighters from your activation bar in your ship, you can spawn an inner ship remote careful to not have anything hooked up before. Then you just double hook it up to the button and you can use it as the button basically from inside your ship's activation bar. You find it here. You can rename it by clicking R 
to make it more recognizable. When we came this far we need to have a droid or a fighter or anything we want to reattach and launch from our ship. Uh, if you have a pre-build you can use that, otherwise we will begin and build one little droid from scratch. We will build a little beam defense bot. What we also need is that we need a faction module. All ships that will be droids need a faction module. Then we will have a very light beam system that will aid us when we launch it. What we need to do now is go into the fleet menu, which is K by default. We go into fleets and then we check at our fleet. And we need to make sure that our ship is the star, the highest ranking ship. Because that will be the carrier ship of this fleet, as every fleet only has one carrier. After we made sure that this is top, if it's not top you can put it on top by moving these up and down in the ranking system. Now we go to our little ship and we enter faction signature. We will also rename it to Beam Proto. Proto. That's fine, it's Beam Proto. It's the name of this little basic design. Then we will go into the fleet menu and we will select the fleet. This current fleet is Jimadism Industries Mining Group. Add member. But we are docked so it doesn't work. So go into flight mood. Click G to drag down your rail docker and disconnect the ship. After this, you can go into Fleet menu, add new member and Beam Proto. It's now added to the fleet. Now, what we need to do is we need to dock this to the pickup point. You see the pickup point by having the rail docker selected. Take your ship and go into the docking point and it will now dock on smoothly, just like that. You might also want the Bobby AI on this one. Now you can get out from your ship and go into your main ship. Now you can click the launch button or use the inner ship remote from your hotbar in flight mood. And the ship is launched. Well, as you see, there are no enemies around and if there are enemies around we might need to go into the uh, order and select sentry mood or something else that's not idling. But as there are no enemies here we will select the fleet and we will click carrier recall. This will make all the docked entities that we have docked onto a pickup point trying to dock again to the point. And as we have the point exposed, it's not so hard, but you can make your pickup point even more exposed to a bit more simple. And if we try to launch this again, again, it will just try to dock again. So when you don't want it to be docked anymore or want any other order, if you want to launch it again, you need to select to maybe sentry mood or any, any other command. Then you can launch them again as usual. All right, that's how you make the basic carrier and have your ships docking and putting out small droids and have your pickup points really exposed until the AI is perfected. You might also want to twist your ship so you're, you can assist them a bit. Well, that's everything for this compact tutorial. I hope that it helped you much and I hope you will have much fun with your droids. Um, I would recommend to not have too many droids because they will crash into each other uh, if you pack them too tight, which one might be tempted to do. Well, anyways, this was everything for this time. Thank you very much for watching. Demonism Total Nerdy Channel Compact Star Tutorials out. See you next time.